Welcome to Carbon's DIY Garage. This is a short video to show you how to replace the petcock valve on a 2014 Chrysler 200 radiator. And uh, the, I'm doing it because the uh, petcock valve is actually leaking a little bit every once in a while, getting a drip of coolant um, on the ground. And I've already tried to tighten it, make sure it was tight, and it was. So it's still leaking a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. I'm able to show you this view pretty easily because previous owner has taken out and gotten rid of all of the plastic uh, closeouts underneath the vehicle. So everything is uh, wide open and accessible. If you have these closeouts in place, you're gonna have to remove them so that you can get a hand or a tool up here to um, remove the petcock. The first thing you're gonna need to do is actually drain the coolant out of the radiator. So make sure you have a bucket underneath the drain and uh, maybe you can time this so that you're already having to flush your radiator or do something else with the coolant. But uh, either way, to get the petcock uh, valve out, you have to uh, drain your coolant. And so you'll turn this a quarter turn counterclockwise and get the coolant to come out. In order to make sure you have all the coolant out of the radiator, go ahead and open your radiator cap and that'll make sure that everything is completely out and there's no pressure or vacuum inside the radiator keeping some fluid in there. And that's because if you turn this more than this quarter turn, it's actually gonna t let the, uh, the valve come out. All right, so your radiator is fully drained and uh, to remove this completely, you just turn it another uh, quarter turn and when this is straight up and down again, you can pull it out. just like that. And if your radiator is not empty, it will just come gushing out of the side hole where the valve was located. So again, make sure it's drained completely before you pull this out. So to install the new one, it's really as simple as putting it in with this uh, vertical and then uh, turning it 180 degrees and then it'll be sealed. And that's it, you get that 180 degree turn and it'll hit a hard stop and it's fully sealed. And you can see that the dripping has stopped from the radiator drain, which is also a good sign. So that's all there is to it for this 2014 Chrysler 200 with the uh, 2.4 liter four cylinder dual VVT motor. Uh, I'm not sure if it's, if it's exactly the same on the other Chrysler 200s or a Chrysler 300, but uh, I know there are a lot of uh, models out there that have this radiator and that's how you replace the, the drain valve. Pretty straightforward, it's too bad you have to drain the coolant and now I've got to refill the coolant and burp the system and get it all up and running again. Hopefully this video is helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section. Video thumbs up and of course subscribe to the channel to see more content for this vehicle and uh, all the other vehicles in the garage. Until the next video, have a good one.